people want to save money. But some people take it way too far. And you guys probably get mad when your mom tries to save money. Check this out. My mother's a cheapskate and her mother were a cheapskate. So I'm three generations of cheapskate. Wow, impressive. Like the final boss of cheapskates. We got frugal. We got cheap. And we got this woman right here. The biggest cheapskate in Texas. My family's been dumpster diving for generations. It's basically in my DNA at this point. My name's Angel Durr, and I am literally the biggest cheapskate in Texas. Excuse my curiosity, but I don't know if she dumpster diving for food or she's pregnant. Some people see dumpster diving as like a sport. I don't see it that way. I just see it as something I have to do in order to, to get what I want for the price that I'm willing to pay, which is nothing. Okay, so I need groceries, I need a new dining table, and I need a new sofa, but I don't want to pay anything for them. You know what? I don't want to pay anything for anything because I can find it in a dumpster. Okay, Ms. Durr? <laughs> I found that if you come late in the evening, that's when cops tend to want to come around. So I try to do it in the middle of the day when people are working and stuff like that. Uh, there's a pregnant lady diving in my dumpster? Like, with, with a stick. One of the main things that I look for when I go dumpster diving now are, are medications, especially prenatal vitamins. I research all medications before I take them, and I've been doing this a very long time. Hold on. So if she's pregnant, she's dumpster diving for medication. Ah, I'm, not a, I'm not a doctor or a professional or anything, but there's probably biohazardous material in there. Mixed in with your medication that you're finding. She's like, I research all the vitamins, it's okay. I research all medications before I take them, and I've been doing this a very long time. Maybe because the research doesn't tell her, hmm, you shouldn't get your vitamins from dumpsters. Maybe she thinks it's okay because those sites don't have a specific warning that says, do not get medication out of the dumpster. Thank you. I mean, the freaking medication says, do not take if seal is broken. <laughs> She's taking this to a whole nother level. By foraging through dumpsters behind pharmacies and hospitals, 25-year-old Angel Durr has managed to save more than $350 on vitamins and medications over the course of her eight-month pregnancy. Hold up. Just like I said, if you're getting medication from a dumpster that belongs to a hospital, it's gonna be biohazardous shit in there. Like, needles, AIDS, every single disease that you could possibly think of is in that dumpster. And you are putting it in your body and there's a baby in there. Like I said, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that's bad. I feel that poor kid when it comes out like, Mommy, what's wrong with me? Mmm, it's probably that medication I took out of the dumpster when I was pregnant. You done messed up. I'm kind of just poking around to see if I can hear anything rattling because generally that's a dead giveaway of pills. I think expiration dates in general are kind of, mm, a lot of times they put expiration dates on things way earlier than they need to just to sell more product. I know Lush does that. Like I'll buy a face mask and it'll expire in like two weeks. No, 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 that's bullshit. But with pills, girl, if it was just you and you weren't pregnant, go for it. Kill yourself slowly. It's okay. Do do you, okay? But when you're pregnant and doing this, the baby's gonna suffer too. Bingo. Bingo. Angel was always excited to find like medicine in a dumpster. They're so hard to find and they're they're so expensive. Her husband agrees with her like, nah, we shouldn't go to Walmart and get some vitamins for $9.99. I'd rather go to the dumpster and get the good shit, like expired, but free. I cannot believe the angel dumpster dives for meds. No, that's not even safe. I would, that's way too extreme for me. We recently bought a house Primarily because of the fact that we were about to have a child. Wow, they bought a house. I'm surprised she didn't just find somewhere abandoned. Just decide to live there. You know, chop down some trees and make your own house. Or you know, if you get real lucky, maybe you'll find one in a dumpster. Because it was an ex-frat house. It was in horrible condition. And it had a funky odor, to say the least. I mean, it was a party house. Angel and Orlando have both renovated and furnished the 3,400 square foot home without spending a single penny. Hold up. They renovated an entire house 
not spending a single penny. You know what? Challenge accepted. I can actually do that. Like when I go for a walk in my neighborhood, people have like nice ass couches, dining sets, mattresses out on the street that they're throwing away. And you know, anybody can just take those, pick them up free. To our house. We make a point to say, hey, that came out of a dumpster. And then usually people are kind of taken aback, but at the same time, they're kind of like, oh, wow. <laughs> We've been doing this in my family for 60 plus years. So we know what we're doing. We've been passing it down from generations. 60 years of dumpster diving. We know how to do this. We go to the free section on Craigslist and we drive around the expensive neighborhoods and pick up their trash. You know, see, that's where you get the good stuff from. She was a child of the depression. Everything has a purpose. The angel seems to love it. She enjoys it. It's like a rush for her. She told me when I find stuff in the dumpster, it's like Christmas. <laughs> I thought about it and I was like, man, it is kind of like Christmas. <laughs> You get all this free stuff. I mean, at least he's like hella supportive of her. Like, yeah, man, it is like Christmas. A whole house free. Most expected parents can spend around $5,000 furnishing a new nursery. Angel and Orlando have collected the same pieces for free. We found a lot of different furniture that we're going to be using in the nursery, and it's actually a complete set that we've managed to get out of dumpsters. Getting a crib from the dumpster is just like anything else I get from the dumpster. I'm going to clean it, I'm going to sanitize it, I'm going to make sure it's safe before I, I let my baby even set foot in it. Woo! She hit the jackpot! A whole baby room in a dumpster. Like that girl from Orange is the New Black. Rich ladies that are about to adopt a kid, and then the adoption doesn't go through, and then they got all that baby stuff brand new from a pottery barn. It's all going in the dumpster. But I mean, okay. I know this is super extreme for the medication, but for everything else, it's like, it works. It's pretty good, especially for furniture, because people throw away that shit all the time. You and I are going to the paint store to try to get as many free samples as we can in order to finish the nursery. Me and Orlando, have been doing this a long time, so we've already hit up a lot of places. Hello. Being pregnant kind of gives me a one-up on Orlando. What size nursery are you painting? Um, I'd say it's a pretty standard size room. So all that paint to paint her room, she gets for free in samples, girl. How much are your samples? We have samples for $2.99. $2.99? I'd like to work with you on that. How about free 99? Free 99? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? Free? Um, if you're gonna buy a couple of gallons of paint, maybe we can work out something. Okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be buying any today. Today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Or the next day. Okay. Well, I guess- She straight bamboozled him. Yeah, let me get a couple free samples. How about free 99? Free 99? Yeah, I'll definitely come back and buy a couple gallons. So like, what's a few samples? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Or the next day. Okay. How you gonna bamboozle small business owners like this, my dude? Go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot. Oh, you gotta pay, there's no negotiating there. You gotta scam the good, hardworking people of America. She was a very nice lady. <laughs> she was decorating a nursery, so thought I would help her out. I approached it like I approached every situation. I just, you know, was nice and sweet. And I always think that you get more flies with sugar than you do with vinegar, so. Yeah, being sweet. More like bamboozling the poor dude. So she's chosen dumpster diving as a way of getting the things she needs for free. <laughs> we got a stroller in here. Really? Damn, they hit the jackpot. Woo! We got a baby stroller in here. We got a we got a car seat. Oh, those dumb moms, they spent twelve thousand dollars on their first year of having a baby. Watch me do it for twelve dollars. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Just kidding. There's no outro. No. Not today. So I did a couple other videos on cheapest people ever. We got the cheapest man in the world and we got the cheapest woman in the world. So make sure you check those out. So to save yourself money, be a guinea pig for medical studies. What you do is you go in and you donate one of your testicles, they replace it with an artificial one, and when you check out after 14 days, you get a check for $35,000. Ooh! 
By using just one light bulb that she moves from room to room, she saves more than $60 a month on her electric bill. Let me bring my light bulb with me because we only got one light bulb in this household. Imagine having one light bulb in your whole house. I think having a lantern, like fire, would be more convenient than doing this.